Hello, good afternoon. My name is Ananta. I'm an emergency physician and I work at the Singapore General Hospital. Many have often asked, why? Why emergency medicine? Why did, did, did I not choose any of the other disciplines that are in medicine? Well, you know, patients, when they get sick, most of them, they, grow, they go through an emergency phase of their illness. And this emergency phase is very unpredictable. Some of them have good outcomes. Some of them have not so good outcomes. But if we were to allow the full emergency phase to be played out as part of the natural cause of the disease or the injury, then we allow for a larger proportion of adverse outcomes. And by intervening early, there are many good examples of that. By intervening early, we are able to truncate the cause of development of that particular illness or injury and allow for a much shorter recovery uh, period uh, and allow that person to get back to normal living, to normal work life as early as possible. When you do that, who do you think is the main beneficiary? Of course, it is the patient. What do you get out of it? Well, the satisfaction of having contributed to making the patient better, faster. And I'm sure the patient will also recognize that and thank you for it, even though he or she may not say so. So that is why emergency medicine is so exciting. You see patients improving right in front of your very own eyes. Is there a program to prepare you for a career in emergency medicine? Yes, there is. Today, in most countries, there are structured mentor training programs for those who want to become emergency medicine specialists and because almost all illnesses or injuries go through that emergency phase you can contribute see, to the healthcare uh, to the healthcare improvement of your country because most patients will need your services at some time or the other thank you